15.2D, multiplying a monomial by a binomial radical expression. Remember, when we had a variable or a number outside of a set of parentheses that had more than one term inside, we would distribute it through, giving us AB plus AC, or basically multiplying what's outside times what's inside. Once again, always be sure that your final answer is simplified. Now let's see how this applies to radicals. In example one, here's example one. As you can see, we have some, a term out front that needs to be distributed through. Let's do the first distribution. Remember, as we just learned, if we're multiplying two terms together, we multiply the outsides and then multiply the insides. This gives us five times two is 10, and 10 times six is 60. But remember, we can leave it as 10 times six since we are going to have to find the prime factorization anyway. Next, we do the second, and we have five times negative three is negative 15, and 10 times 15, which would be 150, but remember, leave it as 10 times 15, because we will need to factor it out anyway. Now, we find the prime factorization of the insides. And we rewrite these as 10 root 2 squared times 3 times 5 minus 15 root two times three times five squared. Now we can pull out some terms. We keep the 10 on the outside, but we can pull a two out, leaving three times five inside. Next, we have negative 15, and we can pull out a five, leaving a two and a three inside. Remember, we now must multiply all the pieces outside and all the pieces inside, giving us 20, root 15 minus 75 root 6. This is our final answer. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Once again, we need to distribute. So let's start with the first one. We have a seven on the outside, and it looks as if there is no number on the outside of the square root six. But remember, there's always a one. This means we have seven times one, which is seven. Square root three times square root six means we have 18. But remember, we can leave this as three times six. Next, we do the second one. Seven times nine, is a positive 63, and then we have square root three times what seems to be nothing, which means that we just have square root three. Now, we need to simplify the first one. The six becomes a two and a three, so we now have two times three squared, with a seven on the outside, and we still have 63 root three. In the first one, we can have a three come out. So we have seven times three root two plus 63 root three. We finish by multiplying and we get 21 root two plus 63 root three. These do not have similar roots, so this is our final answer. Remember, when you are multiplying a monomial by a binomial, you treat it just as we did before and you distribute. Make sure to always simplify your answers.